Hey there, Lynn Allen here. Welcome to another AutoCAD tip courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. All right, first I have to do a shameless plug uh, for my good friends Rick and Tracy. They just dropped this book off. It's a practical guide to AutoCAD 2019 and I wrote the foreword. I'm so excited for them. And if you don't have a good AutoCAD book, check it out. It's awesome. And today I'm going to be sharing with you a tip that has to do with something that we work with all day long in AutoCAD. And we just accept it for the way it is, which is good to do with people, but not good to do with things inside of AutoCAD. And that's the cursor. All right. We work with the cursor all day long, but you know, you can change the size of it. You can modify it. And I'm going to show you how to do that. You should set it up to work the way that you want to work. All right. So let me show you how to do that. Well, Lynn, how do you do that? Let me show you. I think the easiest way is to go into options. I'm going to do a right click. I'm going to click on options. And of course it loves to go to display, so which is good because that's where I need to go today. And here you'll see crosshair size. There's two parts to the cursor. The first part is the crosshair. All right, a little visual for you, the crosshair. And I'm just gonna hold my cursor over to that box where it says it's set to five. So five what? And you'll see that the information there says it's a percentage of the screen size. So 5% of the screen. And I want you to also note that there's a system variable called cursor size that you can set if you prefer to type in information or if you like to type. Um, so I can type in another value here to modify it or I can use the slider bar if you feel like sliding. I feel like sliding today. So I'm going to make it bigger. Let's set it to say 18. So 18% of the screen size. I'm going to say okay. And now you'll go okay. All right. Now that is a cursor. We can all see that cursor. That cursor is of course probably too big for all of us. I do want to point out though that you might know some people that have the cursor size set to 100 so it fills the entire screen. There's actually quite a few people out there who have it set to 100. In the early days of AutoCAD that's the way the cursor was. It was 100% of the screen. It went all the way across and all the way up. There's actually some advantages to having it set that way and uh, you might know some people like that. So you can give that a try if you feel like it. I like my cursor the way it was. I'm going to do an undo put it back the way it was where it defaults to 5% of the screen. All right, you also, the second part of that is that pick box right in the middle. So let's go back into options. Is it on the display tab? Oh no, that'd be too easy. I gotta go find it in another tab. It's under selection because it's also the pick box, right? Which you use to select objects, right? So um, you'll see it here is a pick box. You will see that it tells me that's the pick box system variable. I cannot type in a value. I can only use the slider bar. Let's not be too consistent once again. And uh, I can make it pretty darn big if I want to. Let's just change the size of it, make it a little bit bigger, hit an OK. And you will see that it's kind of a funky looking, if you will, it's kind of a funky looking cursor. Now let's investigate this pick box. Pick box. What is this? Let's look at this. Pick box. And uh, I have a defaulting to 11. 11 what? <laughs> Definitely not 11% of the screen. It's 11 pixels just for your information. And I'm going to type in a large number. Let's type in like 70. And it'll come back. It's going to yell at me. It's going to tell me that I can only pick a value between 0 and 50. Once again, let me remind you, those are pixels. And I'm going to type in 50. That's a pretty big number. That's a huge pick box. If I were to erase something, you'd be like, oh my god, what's it going to pick? Who knows what it's going to select in there? That's a pretty big pick box. I'm sure you're already thinking of ways to torture your coworkers, aren't you? <laughs> and, and, you know, adversely, if I were to go back into pick box and set it to zero, uh, technically, you'll see if I look at my crosshairs, I don't have any pick box at all on there, right? It's so tiny, it's zero. Uh, but if I do go into the erase command, you can see a tiny little speck there. It should, there shouldn't be anything because zero pixels is, let's face it zero pixels. But nevertheless, I still see one little pixel hanging out. Um, good luck picking what you want. You can see I didn't get anything actually, did not get anything. It went into window mode. So once again, ways to torture your coworker. Now um, I will point out, I would like to do an undo and I want you to see that pick box. I'm going to keep going back. Uh, pick box does not like to undo. It certainly doesn't like to undo what I did in options. That's for sure. It doesn't like to undo what I did in options. It undid what I typed in. It just will not undo what I did in options. So let, let it be known. Pickbox doesn't like to undo. I know people like that. 
<laughs> so whatever. So now you know how to control the cursor inside of AutoCAD. So you can control the two parts of it. You can control the crosshairs and you can control the pick box. So you should do that. Set it up the way to work the way you want it to work. And don't be torturing your coworkers now, even though it's pretty darn tempting, isn't it? All right, so have a great rest of the week and I'm gonna see you back here in two more weeks. Be cool.